Hello, my name is Marty DeGarmo. As you, uh, some of you know me and some of you don't. Um, I wanted to do this little video because I had a lot on my mind and talked to a lot of people. And I, I do on passive, as you know, full time. I get, I'm starting to get emails from people with, with doubt or nervousness or what if and oh my God, what am I going to do about this? And people are saying this and this video said that and all. Okay. I've been online for a long, long time. Tried to start making money online for 17 years. But I was online before that. I always wanted to look for some kind of way to make extra income online, offline, whatever. From Amway in my 25 years old to now when I'm 61. Anyway, I came across some passive. And I felt that when I looked at it the best I could back in 2019, March of 2019, not sure what it was, but something there felt different than the other 900 things that I've been involved in. It just felt different. Because everything that I've got into, even after I, we learned some skills of how to market and get traffic, we could never bring anybody with us. So I'm thinking, is there something there that that's just even and actually designed for everyone? Not just somebody that has full-time hours to learn how to do this elusive so-called marketing. Anyway, thank God I, I did find it I, through, through Peter Rogers, Red Redburn, and most of you know that story. But as time went on, we built a team. We did really, we did very well. I focused, always believed on focusing on what I had control over, okay? I have zero control over, like most of you, of when something's going to happen as far as the company goes. Nor do I want that responsibility because with that responsibility comes the responsibility of taking that walk, spending money, and taking that pressure on yourself. Money, I don't have the pressure I don't need, and, you know, and so on. With most of you, the same thing. But anyway, as time went on and I got to see and actually feel what this company is about and had the opportunity to talk to Mr. Uh, Ashley Barr many times, I felt, oh my God, this is, do I even deserve something like this? I mean, it's like, it's like Willy Wonka and the chocolate, chocolate factory. I won the golden ticket for me, my family my grandchildren, my family's family. I mean, it's amazing. And that's how I saw it. And I said, my gosh, people need to see this. And this isn't just me. I'm talking with Dan and Mike. We, we were a team. But I can talk to you personally. So I thought, man, let's, we, this needs to be shared. And we can build a team. And we can honestly look in their eyes and say, we have something that you're going to be successful. I could never say that. I felt like I was using people. The little bit that we did, I felt it didn't feel right. So anyway, so we started sharing. I mean, man, this is amazing. We set up our little group. We did whatever we did. We built people. We kept going and going and going and built relationships. I, I believe in once you bring somebody in, you have a little more responsibility than just a number. That's a person. They got a first name. They got a last name. They live in a country. I, I loved it. So uh, we met, we met with them on whatever Zoom or whatever we did, and we talked and got to meet them. And you get to find out what their wants and needs are. And I thought, man, this is amazing. So I just wanted more. So I mean, so we just kept sharing and sharing and Dan and Mike and doing videos and talking to people and, oh, well, wow, this is a, a great feeling. But there's one thing I, that I made sure we did. I knew what the prize, I'll pass it, the prize, the outcome, something that great is not going to come easy. I knew it. 
and I shared that with people. And by doing that, you build a, a much stronger team, a much stronger people with the concept of what's really going on. Not just a number, not just how many people can I get. And I'm not saying people are doing that, but it's being done. I mean, obviously it's being done. And I'll tell you why a little as I'm talking. But needless to say, we built the teams and we tell people, look, I told people flat out, look, you're coming into a company that is massive. Massive, massive, massive. I would love to compare it to another company out there so I could say, oh, it's like this. It's not. It's not like any other company you've ever seen or been in. The big boys, even them, it's really not like that. The potential is bigger than any company that ever existed. Now, first, you have to believe that. Not just lip service, not just say it, believe it. I believe it. I don't think about it, I don't guess, I don't, I believe it. Now that was planted in me. I, I, there's nothing else. I don't think about nothing else business-wise, nothing. So I try to share that with people. There's, you're taking this path. And I like to use examples because it's, it's easier for me and I like to show a picture to people in their mind. We're going to Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz, okay? We're going to Emerald City, beautiful city. It's called Unpassing. Now, part of that journey, especially the part we're on, which is pre-launch, is horrible. Yeah, it might be a nice yellow brick road, but there's trees across the road. There's potholes, snakes, mud, dog poo poo, whatever. And you walk in it, you walk over it, you move it out of the way, and you might sit on a bench for a minute and go, man, whatever. But I want to tell you what, 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 I, what I had in my mind, and I still do, is while we're taking this journey, we're just walking. We're not doing anything physical. We're not, we're not spending any more money. We spent 97 one time, right? So we're not, it's not like we're forking out money. We're not. But we're allowed to, while we're taking the journey, stop by and grab as many people as you know to go with you. And you explain to them, like Dorothy did to the scarecrow, hey, if you go, maybe they can get you a brain, right? Or whatever. But the, the point is, if I explain to people, the outcome is, Johnny, I know you've struggled. I've known, I know that you lost your job for whatever reason and you're working, but you can't hardly make ends meet. How would you like to take a journey with me that the outcome is life changing and the day will come that you don't have to worry about finances ever again? Yeah, 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 I want to do it. How much? 97. Okay, no problem. I said, but wait, Johnny, you need to know. We don't know what's around the corner. It's going to happen, but we don't know exactly when. And things may not come up the way we planned. Hey, we're gonna, this will be done on this date and it doesn't happen and oh my God, I'm done. Give me my 97 and I wanna go home. If that's you, don't go with me because eventually there'll be Emerald City and you could just go there and, and buy what you wanna buy or be, what they call a reseller. Just wait, then don't go. <clears throat> but I want to I want to do the journey. Do I like every day of it? No, but I don't focus on the day. I focus on the prize. In my mind, I'm focusing on Emerald City. And the little distractions here and there, I just move them out of the way. Distractions are like uh, something hits your windshield, you put your windshield wiper on and wipe it off. But I don't stop driving, right? So we keep going forward and, and collecting people. Now, some of the people you ask to go with you, you look at them, they may not, they're not going to be able to handle this journey as easy as it is. Because let's, let's, let's really face the facts. The journey is you're just walking. You're not running. 
You're not building something. You're not spending any money. You're just walking. And then on Passover says, you're just waiting. But we get to invite people to the same journey because you know when they get there. Now, part of this journey, even though the ruts and the rainy days and the floods and walking through Kalmanor and just everything seems like it's not going the way you planned in your head, you still get to build a team of people and show them what they're getting. You can show them Emerald City. You've got a picture. It's in here. And then and the CEO tells us where we're going, what's, what we can expect. So I'm happy as a lark. That's good enough for me. But I also know this. The path that I'm taking, Mike and Dan and 900,000 other people around the world, the path that we're taking is nothing, nothing compared to the path that Mr. Ashley Faro is taking. Right? Nothing. Now, people say, well, we thought we were getting this. We thought we were getting this. Okay. I want you to wrap your head around this if you can, just a little bit. Think of all the countries, all the languages, all the currency, all the laws, what you're building, every little piece that he has to do from morning till night till morning. Because when he's done all day, now he starts talking with the staff in India. So there's really no end. He has a little break here and here where he does get sleep, but not a lot. We, we know that. And he, he's, a, he's an organized guy here. He's very intelligent. He's got a staff. They got on pieces of paper. I don't know this for sure, but I, I was a project manager. I know what you have to do. That's a much, this is an enormous scale of that. But you put on what you want done. What's it going to cost to get done? How long it's going to be to get done? And, and you budget everything in the time. And yes, Wednesday, whatever, whatever, we want to be here. And I even, you know, you have people in that case where they're saying, you better be there, you better be there. You get there, and what happens in this? Because it's so big, there's parts of this company that are out of the hands of even Mr. Mufara. Let me give you an example. And I don't know this exactly what it is, because I don't know. I don't want to know. I know it's crazy days. Disgusting, crazy day, days where you go home and go, oh, my God. But thank God ash is ass, right? I mean days like this. Let's say I need something signed from a government or, or legal. And, and you got to do it. And then you got to get, like, some type of permit. Now, outside of Unpasa, anything outside of Unpasa, they don't care what your date is. They don't care what your schedule is. They, they, they could care less. They're on their schedule. So many things to do with on Paso is outside of on Paso, but it needs to be done so on Paso can get where it needs to get. Now you, you, you plan it and you tell them where you want to be and they work with you the best they can, but the bigger it gets, the more things are outside of the not the plan, not what's going to be done, but the time it takes to get done. And if you have any idea how big this company is, which we all might know about 10%, it's massive. It's not going to happen just because we want it to. And I know all the days that might seem bad to Marty might seem bad. We're walking in the sunshine in a park compared to what Mr. McBarr is walking through. And then what do we do? We walk a few steps and go, oh my gosh, there's a tree across the road. I didn't know there was going to be a tree. What am I going to do? Just grab the damn tree and push it to the side and keep walking. Where's Ash? Where is he? He's working. He's walking waist high in manure dodging arrows for 900,000 complete strangers because of a vision he has and how much he wants to help mankind. Here's where it comes down to. Here's what I want to 
really get in people's mind. Do you believe in this company and the vision of Ashley Farr? Because if you don't, this journey is not for you. And if you weren't told the truth by some of the people that brought you in, and I'm going to call people leaders. If you brought one person into this business, you're a leader. Forget the word LC. You brought one person into this business, you're a leader. Were you honest with them? Or did you promise pie in the sky? And now you're dealing with that person because they have an IOU. You told me this and it would be ready this and I want done this. Or did you, were you honest with them and said, look, the journey is not going to be what you've ever seen before. The prize is going to be massive. The prize is going to be better than anything you ever dreamt of. But to get to that prize, you have to make this journey. Can you do that? Are you ready to do that? Yeah, okay, it's $97. And you're the luckiest human being in the planet. Or I need to get 10 people. Any way possible. Any way possible, I want 10 people. You could do that. But I'm dealing with those people now from all over the world because of MLM mentality. How many can I get? How many can I get numbers-wise? Now what do you have? You have a bunch of people in a journey they have nothing, they know nothing about. They were just told you're going to be in Emerald City. You didn't tell me I had to walk, walk down the yellow brick road. You never told me that. Why? Why aren't we telling people the truth? It just, to me, it doesn't make sense. You're going to deal with these people later. And why are you bringing people in or even in sharing this with non-founder people? If you don't have the mind and the heart to serve and know without seeing it, look, people say, well, I don't know why you didn't do this, and I don't know why you didn't do that. How narrow-minded can you be? How narrow-minded can you be? But you can't even imagine what Ash is going through to get this thing perfect, or as perfect as we can. I mean, I get emails of, I don't understand why you didn't do this. And I don't understand why I just didn't do this. Why didn't he just do this? Well, I got a question for you. Why don't you do it? And then I tell people, look, I, I don't want to, I didn't talk you into getting in. And I'm not going to talk you into staying. You want your money back? I'll tell you how. I'll help you do it. I can't help. I, I would love to help you. You don't want to be here. I don't want you here. But my God, can't we be truthful? Let's just be truthful. Correction to the corruption. You know it's corrupt not to tell the truth? You know you're lying if you don't tell the truth? I mean, we, we just owe the truth. It's the, we don't know what we don't know. What do we know? You could build a massive team and help humanity right now. Start now. And the outcome, the reward, is on passive Emerald City financial freedom. So for $97, you want everything you want right now, a multi-million dollar business handed to you on a silver platter, right now, 11 o'clock in the morning, on Friday morning, the 10th of September. That's what I want. Nobody cares what you want. It's not about what you want. We are very fortunate to even be able to be on this journey. I look at things different. I don't, and we need to do that. And we need to be honest with people. Are we honestly bringing people non-passive? 
honestly bringing people in or are we just bringing them in? You just bring somebody in and give them the title founder and they're not a founder. And I'm not saying there's all the people out there that could be founders, but give them the truth. Am I going to get this and this and this right now? The other thing that really blows me away, and, and I, I don't tolerate it, people don't ask me, is people have this sense of entitlement. I paid $97 three years ago. I better be making 50 grand a month. You know, what? What? You paid 97. You, what? You're entitled for what? Come on. Are you freaking kidding me? We won the lottery. You get to you get to sign how big a check you want. And you're gonna demand or it better and this better and that better. You you better sit down. You better look if this ride or if this journey, which to me is I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm looking at the prize going, my God, we get that just to just to wait. I get to go there if I just wait. Better than that, I can build a team and go there and get to my my financial, what I want to make or what I want to do quicker. It's going to cost me how much each month to get there? Oh, no, nothing. $97 two and a half years ago. I want to know what color the bricks are on the wall. I want to know what size office. I want to know how many floors are on the office. I want to know what did the garage guy say in the box? Are you kidding me? Are we, have we lost our mind? I don't get it. And if you're, you're, if you're entertaining these thoughts or these responses from people, then you don't believe. If you're getting responses and people feel like they can say these things to you, it's because you don't believe either. I put people right in their place. No, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Step the freak back. You need a bottle, go get one. You want to be burped at pamper change, freaking I'm not that guy. I'll change Shorty's pants, but I'm not doing yours. You know this journey. You know what's up. Man up, woman up, and let's walk. Because the least we could do is walk. The very least that we're expected is to sit on a park bench and wait for the bus to come to take us to Emerald City. And we can't do that? And then the shenanigans you hear off in the distance, he said, she said, look at this video this guy did. Oh my gosh, that's going to shake people up. It's going to shake weak people up. It's going to shake people that don't have the vision or have it in their heart. Of course it's going to shake them up. Because they don't believe. Some clown on the internet makes a bunch of statements and everybody's shaken up. And the 10 videos under the clown explain to everybody, I do this for a living. I point out companies and people and actors and sports people on YouTube so I can make a living, so I can make money. If he got on and said everything's good and smiling and he wouldn't get any views. So what do we do? The people in on passive that don't have the vision yet, we take the video and look at it and share it with everybody on our team because we're blockheads. Don't give the guy the time of day. I bet he got more views from on passive than out in the world. And that's sad. Look what this guy said. Who is it? Moses? 
Oh, some dork made up a video and made it sound good. You know, you know the world. You're guilty until proven innocent. Not the opposite. Well, oh, that's so good. That this company did this, 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 and this. Yeah. 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 Unless you're complete brain dead, you're telling me that a guy in Orlando is collecting $97 from X amount of people for two and a half years, and the law doesn't care. And he's on Zooms. You know his office. People have been there. He's getting away with it in broad daylight. How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is it that you believe it? Look at old stories, though. Typical mankind. Moses leads the people out of Egypt. And they're complaining all the way. I'm going to take you to the land that flows with milk and honey. I'm taking you there. Handful of people. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Okay, stay here. I got to go get the Ten Commandments from God, and I'll be back. Wasn't very long. What's he doing? He doesn't care about us. No, he said he'll be back. He didn't know how long exactly, but he'll be back. Uh, we, we believe, don't we? We followed him out here. Now what happens? You got doubters, and oh, my God, what happened? And surely, but slowly, but surely, people weak, 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 visionless, heartless, give up. What God tell them? Go back down there. They're acting up. They don't believe. I'm going to crack their earth open and swallow the ones that don't believe. But every so complaining. While they're eating, they're complaining about what kind of meat they're getting. Stuff like that. Okay, I'll fix you. I want a true founder to enter the promised land. So I'm going to walk you around in circles for 40 years until that generation dies off. Because you're not worthy to be there. We're not even asked that. Everybody can go. But if you look, I don't I don't like to compare that, but let's think about what we what the outcome is. But I gotta believe if you don't believe in the company, that's why you fall for the nonsense. And I know there's some leaders out there, so-called leaders that are probably not doing the right thing. In many instances. And they're looking over their shoulder and they're saying stuff to people they shouldn't say and bringing in things they shouldn't do and all. It's happening. And you know the funny thing? They think Ash doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look what I'm doing. Or bringing people in, don't tell them the truth. If you go to a Q&A and somebody comes in that's been in the company for six months and they ask questions that I'm hearing, they weren't told the truth. I'm not calling people liar. But if you say nothing and you know better, you should. If it means less people, that's okay. Because this party hasn't started until we pay our subscription and the, and this, and the machine takes off. But please, if you don't believe and you refuse to really think about what you have, there's, there's, go in the back office and get a refund. I would hope nobody's that stupid. I mean, if you're going to get a refund, what is plan B? I'm getting my money back. I'm going back to, I'm going back to where? I want to know. I, I got to know. I'm going to go buy a six pack, two bags of groceries, drink beer, watch reruns, and I'll be happy. Really? Is that what? Well, because if that's the case, you shouldn't have been a founder anyway, 
and you could eliminate this, this span of torture. Waiting is just torture. Yeah, but I lost my job. I'm having trouble paying my rent. I don't have this. I, I got Dr. Bill's book. I, I bleed for everybody. I have the same thing. That has nothing to do with unpassing. The situation in your life has nothing to do with unpassing. It didn't before you came in as a founder, and it doesn't now. And that pressure shouldn't be thrown on non-passive or Mr. Bupara. Your life situation is your life situation. And I'm sorry that it's that way. I don't like everything that's going on in my life either. But not one tenth or one millimeter of that has anything to do with non-passive. If non-passive isn't keeping you sane, then you're looking on passive different, no matter what your life, whatever's going on in your life. I'm sorry, but start thinking about what you're saying and what you're throwing off. On passive, it's not unemployment. It's not a stimulus package. You didn't pay the $97. I hope you didn't. So that in turn, on passive, it's going to pay your mortgage next month. Or your car payment. I mean, it's sad. I, I am so, it, it hurts me to my bone when I hear some of the struggles people are going through. I was blessed to bring David in from Papua New Guinea. People walking three and four and five days to hear about unpassing. That have the, that have the vision. They know they're a hold of something bigger than themselves. Four days, barefoot. Paying money that is outrageous for them. Very hard to get. You know, so I'm not that guy. You want to whine or you're upset or whatever? I don't get it. People are thinking this and people are upset about it. I don't care. I don't like things either. What's that got to do with anything? Focus on what you have control over. Your control is your team. If you fidget, if you sweat, if you accept any negativity, you don't believe. You can't blame your team. It's you. My team thinks this, 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 and this. Really? And who'd they tell that to? Me. Then you don't believe either. Because if you would go back and say, here, when you first got in, this is, this road is going to be bumpy. It's going to be at potholes. It's going to rain. You're going to walk through cow manure. You're going to, it's going to be windy. It's going to be cold. But guess what? You can build a team as large as you'd like. And your rewards is that. For generations to come. Do you want to take the journey? you damn right I do. What's the alternative? I'll go back to MLM. I'll go back to affiliate marketing. We could build teams of thousands. Michael Williams can build teams of thousands. There's a few people here that can do that. Why are we here? Why are we here? Because we can change lives. And it's true. And it's a vision. And I see it. Do I see it all? No. But I got a snip of it. And I can see it through a, 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 a thick glass. And it looks good on the other side. And I'm going to wait and do whatever I got to do to get there. And I'm going to share it with everybody that I know. And I'm going to sift through the ones that are, have no vision. And negativity is their life. 
I don't need it. I can't change that. I can work with the broke. Right? You can work with the broke. Because I've lived that life. I know what broke is. But you got to be honest. You want somebody to follow you? Be somebody worth following. You want people to listen to you? Be somebody that's worth listening to. And sometimes, sometimes, you say what needs to be said, not worried about the consequences of what the result might be. Be honest. There's nothing on this planet, business-wise or financial-wise, better than I'm passive. And if a site didn't pop up quite when you wanted, or a, one of the products didn't come out yet, or a date in your mind, or you heard that should have been five weeks ago, seven weeks ago, 10 weeks ago, didn't happen, and that broke the camel's back, get your money back and wait. Go to your plan B. But think very serious about what you're giving up. I'm not giving it up. And I'm not going to entertain negative, woe is me mentality. I can't do it. The company owes you nothing. I owe you nothing. I want to help. I want to spend as much time as I can helping people. Everybody comes in, oh, you're such a blessing. You know, I might be a blessing, but I want to do it. Red Redford wants to do it. Mike Ellis wants to do it. Dan Street, hundreds of people. I could name, I could name hundreds that want to do it. It's not about have to do it. And I realize people get in, they don't have the vision yet. You keep shining that damn crystal ball until they do. But once they get it, once they see it, they're going to go, oh, my God, that's that moment. You never have to work on them again. They were told the truth. They're walking to cow, cow manure and potholes and windy and cold and rain and sleet with a smile on their face. Now, you look at them and say, they must be nuts. Maybe they are. You know what they're smiling at? The outcome. You know what they're thinking about? The outcome. The prize. Keep your eye on the prize. You guys hear it? In the, it's not just talk. It's fact. But the day you sweat and the day you waver and the day you get upset, you're going to affect your whole team. Well, he said this and he said that. And what do I do if this guy said that? That's your fault. If you're getting that and you're shoving people away, go see him, go see here, go see, then you're not who you said you are. All I say is try your best. Nobody's perfect. But don't invite somebody in without telling them the truth. On passive, it's going to launch. We are going to have a soft launch or whatever the new name is. I don't even care. It's going to happen. If you need to know the hour and the second, it's not for you. If, if, it, if, it, if you think that I'm passive, it's the backbone of you paying your bills and staying alive and getting food for you. You're looking at this totally wrong. It is a business that you are fortunate enough to be in. Not only are you fortunate enough to be in, you are a founder in this company. We all are. And I'm not putting people down, but my gosh. Ash could come on a webinar and tell us everybody, look. He was coming on every week. He had the time. He could do it. 
that he said about a month ago, two months, look, I'm not going to be able to do this. I need you guys to carry the torch and do what you need to do to keep this thing alive for me while I go up to do what I got to do. I'll be back. I'll be back to get you. He doesn't take five steps away. We're going, where's that? What's he doing? He must be doing this. He must be doing that. He, must, he doesn't care. He loved us. <coughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding? Seven days and people are giving up the farm. Seven days. <coughs> and then he gets on and it's a whole day. It's hours. He's delaying things to it so he can get on and everybody get on. And come on, guys. We're going to have plenty of time for that. You know, as well as being with the people, a lot more than what he's doing now. But what he's doing now, he's the only guy that would do it. You really want to sit with him for four hours a day in, a, in, a, in meetings? He's the only guy that will do it, can do it, needs to do it. Let him do it. I'm not putting people down, but we need to refocus as a company Get back on track. If people are coming to you with something wrong and it doesn't feel right, don't do it. <coughs> if it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. If people are saying the wrong thing, report them. Do I make mistakes? Yeah. Most of the time I say, I believe this. <coughs> I believe this is how that works. My best knowledge is I think it's this way. Anyway, I'm going to go and wrap this up. <coughs> I got nasal trip choking. Um, I love everybody. Okay, I love you all. Been thinking about this for days. I talked to a core group of people, and there's a lot of buzz and people shaking and nervous and. The best thing I could tell you is get the vision in here and in your heart. Take the walk. If you can't take the walk or if you can't just wait, <coughs> get your money back. Relieve yourself of this horrible pressure. Relieve yourself. And if you get your 97 back and you look in your bank account, there it is. And you go, Oh, I'm so much better off. You know how ridiculous that sounds? The outcome of unpassing where we're going to be and the outcome of you getting your 97 back? Are you really going to go, oh, now I'm happy? Are you kidding? It's a joke. Anyway, not here to hurt people's feelings. I'm here to let's refocus. I'll see you all. God bless.